Okay, so uh, we'd like Conmio to help us with uh, the code that we've been working uh, that has to do with the spinner. Uh, I'll show you why it's important. If somebody is already logged in and uh, he bought a subscription and then he canceled the subscription and now he wants to buy the subscription again or a, a situation like this, it means he was already logged in, to in, in the device. So he will never see... Uh, this screen that you will see briefly right now is going to right away jump to the purchase screen. So he will not see this screen, right away will jump to this screen. And on this screen, in order for him to still have an option or a store purchase, we added this button, we will style it differently to restore subscription. Okay? So when we press the restore subscription button, it usually takes quite a while with Apple servers and depending on your internet, to find the subscription and bring up all the relevant data. And while the server is waiting, while the server is giving us back the response, the user can still be clicking on certain things that can right away uh, kill the whole process. So we've added this um, spinner right here, just a s s restoring process. Uh, so it spins until if it's a successful su subscription, until we get uh, success function uh, activated, etc., etc. But if we click cancel in that, what we just did in that pop up, uh, cancel should also send us some, uh, some code for us to take away this layover. Okay? So let me do it again. We do restore subscription, and here, so we when we we start to restore subscription, we right away put the layover with the with overlay with the spinner, and so when we go through the process and click OK, we get the response that will then take away the the spinner and the layover. We need the same as well when we press here cancel. We need the app to send us some. Uh, code or send us some uh, parameter to take away the uh, the layover. I hope it makes sense.